Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Welcome if you are new. Today is an exciting day because today is having two very distinct purposes. One, it's my birthday. It's my 29th birthday. It's the last year in my 20s. Fingers crossed it's gonna be the best year yet. But yeah, happy birthday to me. And secondly, today and this weekend as a whole, to be honest, is going to be our little like farewell tour of all the things we love about this part of London. So we do have three, two, two more weekends. I think it's two after this weekend in Greenwich. But obviously one, our stuff will basically be in boxes. And the other one, we're doing something next weekend, but I can't remember what. So this is our last like proper weekend to go and love and experience all of our favourite things in this area. So we're gonna pack it full of all of our favorite things to do. As someone who's lived in the area for three years and someone who has very much lived and enjoyed living in the area for three years. Greenwich, for any of you guys who don't know, is in zone two slash three London. It is a UNESCO World Heritage. It is so busy with tourists. It's actually not funny. <laughs> It is a tourist hotspot. If any of you ever plan to come to London and don't live anywhere near here, it is like a go-to destination. I know Greenwich as a local, as someone who's lived here, and as someone who's lived here for quite some time. So some of my favorite spots are nowhere near the center of town for, for all the reasons I just described. <laughs> and then some of my favorite things are in town because that's where everything is. So yeah, we're having a whole weekend of all of our favourite things that we love about this area because we have loved living here so much. The only thing we haven't loved so much is that the transport connections aren't the best. You've got the DLR, which is great into like Canary Wharf, but to like go into centre, it kind of goes up into Canary Wharf and back in again, so it's quite slow. And then you've got National Rail into London Bridge, which is helpful, but like only if you want to go to London Bridge. <laughs> Yesterday we went to our favourite park, which I will include the footage in a second. That is Brookmill Park, which is actually in Lewisham rather than in Greenwich. So it's a little bit further out. It's actually quite small. I would say it's not somewhere you'd come to Greenwich to go and see, but if you live around here and you haven't been, it's so cute. It's got a massive pond. It's got the river Ravensbourne, I think is what it's called, going through it. It's got little like flowers and like a planted garden. It's got a bound you can walk up and sit in. It's just really cute. And then there's like these footpaths that you can like walk along the side of the river. We couldn't do it yesterday because the river was so high that it flooded the footpath. But when the river is low, you can go down and walk down by the side of the river. And it's just like, love that park so much. So we went there yesterday. I'll insert that footage here. And today we're gonna have a whole fun packed day of activity. So first thing this morning, we're gonna go to our favorite cafe for brunch. So our favorite cafe is called Coffee and Beyond. If you leave the main, the main train station, turn left, no, turn right rather than left. So left takes you into town, right takes you towards this cafe. Absolutely love it. It's so, tasty and the tea that worked there are really lovely. We're then going to head into town and go book shopping. So there's a charity shop, I can't remember what charity it is, but it just does books and it is chef's kiss. So many of my books I read this last three years have been bought from that shop. I then got a gift voucher for Waterstones for my birthday, so we're going to head over to there and go shopping. And then we might walk around the market, we might not, depending how it is. The market is very expensive and it can be a little bit full of tact, but there is something quite fun about it. So 
Depends what vibe we're feeling. Then we're gonna come home, drop off the books, and then jump on a bus over to Elton Palace and spend the afternoon. Oh, I've missed something in between. But anyway, go to Elton Palace this afternoon. Before that, we're gonna go to the observatory in Greenwich Park and go to a, I forgot what it's called. One of those light show things I've now forgotten the name of and that's really embarrassing. But we're gonna go to one of those because honestly, Love it, and we have a membership, which I'm pretty sure is discounted because we pay council tax in the area, I can't remember. But we have a membership to all of the Greenwich museums, and the only thing I don't think it includes is the painted hall in the Old War Naval College, because that's not part of the museums. But yeah, we're gonna go to there, and go and see some stars, or at least a light show of some stars. And then, yeah, then we're gonna go to Blackheath. Then we're gonna go to Elton Palace, which is about half an hour bus journey from here ish and then we'll come back and then we're gonna go and have dinner tonight in the well we're gonna take it out and have it at home but in the fish and chip shop so there are a couple of fish and chip shops in Greenwich but I'll go to is the golden chippy which is Deptford end of Greenwich so we're gonna go there and have fish and chips and it's gonna be absolutely delicious and then tomorrow we're gonna go to the pub for a quiz. We'd normally go to the Brook Mill, which is a pub in Deptford opposite Brook Mill Park, but I think we might go to our favourite pub in Greenwich itself, which is called The Mitre, and it has a quiz on a Sunday night. We might go there, have a roast, do the quiz, and then our only other favourite part of Greenwich that we won't have done in this time, well there's two. One is the Japanese, which I think we're going to go with in like two weeks time when Alex's dad's in town. And the other one is just a walk down by the river. I might do that on Monday. We live basically like five minutes from the Thames walk. So I might go and do that and walk down to the O2. Maybe walk around the outlet for a bit and then come back. That is our plan. That is everything we're gonna go do. And let's get dressed and spend the most perfect day in our current favorite place we've ever lived. So let's go. We have returned. We've returned from my little trip. I'm gonna have to open the window for one sec. It is warm, but we are back. We are back from my little trip out. Ah, I love book shopping so much. I know I'm moving soon. I really should have just waited, but there is nothing more than I want to do on my birthday than buy books. So if it's an extra box when we move, it's an extra box when we move. Who cares? I mean, I do, but you know. <laughs> So I got a gift card from Alex's mum, I had a little bit of a list of things I wanted to get. The lovely lady in Waterstones actually recommended another book so I picked up one I wasn't even planning and then we went to the charity shop beforehand and I picked up three books from there. So should we do a little haul? Also this is my new top from Lucy and Yak, it has little frilly edging books. I bought so many books, I'm so happy, best day ever. Um, got myself some squash because I'm quite thirsty. This glass is from Gabby. I think her name was like Velvet Ghost at the time from her Primark collaboration. Like who remembers this? That is very old school YouTube. Alex bought me these for my birthday. This is the Naturals series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. All four. I know it's a bit bold to buy four books. Well, I didn't buy them, but I put them on my wish list to buy four books before you've even read a single book by the author. But I am one of those people, and I've mentioned it before. I'm not very good at starting series and not finishing it. Like, I actually don't have that many series that I'm like halfway in the middle of, unless it's because I'm waiting for the next book to come out, either in paperback or just come out full stop. I have to finish series. It's like in my personality trait, it's just a thing. So I don't necessarily mind having all four. But yeah, Alex bought me this for my birthday. I'm very excited. I love books. I've currently got, I think, six books left on my TBR. I have slightly more than that now, but yeah, got that from Alex. Then I picked three books up from the charity shop. 
One is a book I've actually already read. It's not in the best condition, but I don't necessarily mind too much. It's Richard Osman's The Thursday Murder Club. I love this series so much. I think there's still a fifth book to come out, but I've read the other, well, the first four. And I got rid of this book because I read it in 20, 21? 21? No, it must be 20. A while ago. And it was back when I used to read a book and take it straight back. But I actually now I'm starting to keep some of the books that I've read. And I really love this series. So I picked up the first book so I could have all of them. And I picked up two more books from the charity shop. The Humans by Matt Haig. I actually haven't read a Matt Haig book before. But this one just sounded really interesting. Professor Andrew Martin wakes up one night and feels like he's not really himself and it seems to be that there is like something inside him and it just sounded really interesting. So yeah I picked up The Humans by Matt Haig and then I picked up a book that's been on my TBR for a while and the fact that it was in there for three pounds meant that I bought it and it's Babel or Babel I'm not really sure by R.F. Kuang. I'm pretty sure they're the author of Yellowface. But yeah, I've heard a lot about this. It seems to be that like um, language is sort of like magical or something. Anyway, I'm not really sure what it's about, but sounded interesting. And then we went to Waterstones where I would say I did damage, but it was a gift card. So I spent 10 pounds. So I didn't really do much damage at all. But I picked up seven books, I wanna say. So I'm going to do a quick whistle stop tour through them because I don't want this video just to be a book haul. But I picked up Coco Mellor's Cleopatra and Frankenstein. Honestly heard so much about this. I'm just really fascinated to read it. Bunny by Mona Awad, which was on my list and I really, really want to read this. It sounds amazing and I follow a couple of YouTubers who absolutely loved this. Scythe by Neil Shorsterman, which just sounds so interesting. It's like humans can outlive death or something so there has to be these scythes that pick people to die so that it keeps the human population under control it just sounds so cool so i picked up scythe the serpent and the wings of night by carissa broadbent i didn't really go in planning to read this and then it was just there on the bookcase and i picked it up one dark window by rachel gillig which was on my list a dark fantasy type book effectively there seems to be a girl with like a monster in her head which just sounds so cool this is the first book of a trilogy i would have bought all three but to be honest they only had the first one in there and this is once upon a broken heart by stephanie garber i read caraval and i feel like i'm one of the only people who i've ever seen who actually loved that trilogy so much the pacing was a bit off i have to say there were periods of time where i was like can you get to the point but the vibes the characters the atmosphere the oh, loved it so much and this is the series that comes afterwards so i picked up the first book and then this one wasn't actually on my list but i got to the till started checking out had a bit of a conversation with the woman on the checkout and she said that she thought i would really enjoy this based on the other books i've picked i mean i used to work in a shop i imagine they're, they're like some kind of like books they have to try and push but sounded really cool so it's by alex e harrow and it's called starling house and to be honest i know nothing apart from the fact that it's like the other books that i bought <laughs> So this is also on my list and those are all the books that I have. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 books to read and 14 books in total. I'm so excited. Yeah, I had a really lovely time, went to our favourite cafe, had some eggs florentine, some freshly squeezed orange juice and a cup of, well, a pot of tea. Went book shopping and then we've come back because I was carrying too much stuff. So I think you might head back out again in a minute, head into town. Then I don't know if we're gonna head up to Point Hill or we're gonna do Point Hill maybe tomorrow on Sunday, but then head up to the Royal Observatory and go to the, why do I keep forgetting the word? But go and do that show. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm having the best day, honestly. Going out for brunch, well, was, we had it at breakfast time, but like a brunch type meal, going book shopping, going and looking at stars. It's honestly my favorite day. I'm having the best time. <gasps> we could go and do the, at the, um, oh, what's the museum called? It's a museum mainly about boats. 
it will come to me. The museum in Greenwich that I've now forgotten the name of. In there is the, astro what's it called? The Astronomy Photography of the Year competition. And I'm pretty sure they've reset since we last went because it ha resets every year. I don't think we've been to this year's one. Let me ask Alex. But if they haven't, we could go there on the way up to the observatory. Yeah. Maybe we'll go do that. I'm gonna log these books in Goodreads and put them away. Having the best time. I'm so excited. I'm back honestly had such a nice day it was sunny it was warm went and did some of my favorite 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 things i had such a nice nice time and i've got back to a slightly open parcel so fingers crossed everything is in here i've been harassed by nobody's child ads and i don't think i bought the dress that i normally see on the ads because i'm pretty sure it wasn't left in my size but I'll put a little picture here if I get another ad soon. But I've been harassed by them and they seem to make some really, really beautiful dresses. And let me just twist it a little bit. I'm currently in the market for dresses, like really in the market for some nice office appropriate, but like can veer into like evening appropriate dresses. I've got loads of like, not quite red carpet or black tie, but like I've got loads of really nice dresses. I don't just have many dresses, you know? So I bought some. Let's get this parcel open. I've never bought from this store before. I bought everything in a size 14. I'm pretty much, to be honest, a size 14 these days. So let's get her open. They do deliver, or at least mine delivered via Royal Mail, which I am like here for. As long as it's not every, I, I am quite happy. Yeah, I think everything is in here. I bought four things and then I got either 10 or 15% off because it's my first order, which I'm pretty sure is available to every single person. I don't know if they do have a referral code. I know that Lucy and Yak do, so I'll put it down in the description box if you want some really nice basics or they do like really nice pattern stuff. I'll leave a referral code in. It's like a birthday haul to myself. So this is a denim dress. Oh, it actually looks quite big. Oh no, it doesn't. It's just um, quite flowy. So this is a little denim dress. It's got little tiny sleeves, comes in around the waist and then has kind of like a midi-ish length skirt. So picked up that. I thought that'd be a really nice kind of like everyday dress, you know, which is kind of what I was in the market for. I've then got another one of these satin skirts. So I have one from Mango, one from M&S and now this one. And I've got a, the one from Mango, ooh, what's going on with my hair? The one from Mango is in like a cream colour. The one from MS is in a black. And then this one is in like a chocolate brown. I mean, it's crinkled as hell. There is something about this material that just like crinkles really badly. I've then got another dress. So this one is in denim as well, but like a darker denim. Do I need both dresses? Because I think they're the same cut, potentially. Probably not got this one too i mean i might go try these on in a sec this one is longer i think 
And then the very last one I got is, I think, green, like, corduroy type material. To be honest, they do a lot of the same pattern dress, or like, same style dress in lots of different colours and patterns. So I get the idea that once you find a dress style from this place that suits you, you can get it basically in every colour under the sun. So this one's got long sleeves, and it's a bit shorter. Those are the four I picked up. I'm going to go try them on, and hopefully... One, they fit, two, they look nice, and three, I like them. So first up, we have the brown skirt. I have to say, I think the ones I got from M&S and Mango were a slightly better quality. At least they're slightly thicker, but I mean, with a good iron, it's nice enough. That's the job, a nice brown skirt. I think it's ever so slight, you're slightly dirty, isn't it? It's ever so slightly thinner than the other ones I bought. I can't remember if it was cheaper or a relatively similar price, but it's nice enough. I actually quite like it. I love the colour. Right, let's get on to the dresses. Do you have to undo every single button or is there a zip? Every single button. Okay, this is actually quite cute. It's quite short, but it has more length at the back than the front. So it actually ends up being slightly longer at the back but actually relatively the same length but yeah it's actually really cute i mean i'd probably pull the sleeves up to be three quarter length but she's really cute i'm gonna go and show alex and then i'll put on a different dress but yeah she's cute i like it you know when you instantly put a dress on and you're like absolute yes this is such a nice dress and i can't explain why but it feels like it's been perfectly tailored in my body like the sleeves aren't too loose but they're also loose <laughs> same here like it's pretty tight but there's a little bit of give in it so that i can feel comfortable i can sit down i can eat and then it comes down to about that far above my ankles i love this dress and as i say this is one of those brands where i think from what i can see online if you find a cut that works for you you can basically get it in any color under the sun this one needs a different bra situation because it's quite low cut i don't know if you can see that it goes all the way down to here but she's cute i mean she's got um elasticated arms which are quite tight i have to say i feel like they're gonna be slightly uncomfortable this one oh, she has pockets honestly the minute a dress has pockets, I'm sold. I don't care anymore. Who cares the arms are tight? I can put my hand in pockets. <laughs> this is the last one, but I might just stay in this for the rest of the day. Partly laziness and partly to see if I how I feel about the sleeve after like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And if it's still suffocating, she's going back. I'm going to pop you guys on charge, put away some of the bits that I've got over today have a quick tidy up a little sort a little organize put everything away where it needs to be and then it'll be time for i'm gonna make this rhyme chippy tea can you see that that is the mark from wearing the dress for a bit i think i might try and return it it is quite a bit later as you can probably tell i am in my pajamas i am in my bedroom i have just done a little nail treatment where's it gone I'm currently using the barry m argan oil nail shot there's actually not much left and we're going to reach a point where actually getting to the bottom of the bottle is just really annoying but i used some of this and then i used some of the L'Occitane Amand Hand and Nail Cream. So this is my little duo of nail health. And I'm ready for bed. I've taken my makeup off. I've done my evening skincare routine. I'm breaking out quite a lot because it's my time of the month, which wasn't what I wanted for my birthday, but there you go. Yeah, it is now the end of my birthday and the end of a very, very lovely day doing so many of our favorite things in Greenwich and there is so much more honestly this part of London is honestly like the best thank you to those of you who have sent me birthday wishes I'm gonna end this video here if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up click subscribe leave a comment and let me know where your favorite place is I will see you guys in my next video which I'm gonna film tomorrow and it's gonna be a weekly reset because because of today, and because of yesterday, and because my legs ache, I need to reset all of my life. Well, mainly the flat, to be honest, but like, good old little reset. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, but in another video. Bye!